Do you really think that you're going to beat Mike Tyson? Yeah. Ooh. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm, nervous. I'm, I'm, Daniel Cormier expressed frustration in a recent podcast regarding the ongoing controversy surrounding Mike Tyson potentially fighting Jake Paul. He emphasized that this saga should come to an end. From the outset, Cormier has vehemently opposed the idea of a 57-year-old boxing legend like Mike Tyson stepping into the ring against a YouTuber who identifies as a boxer, especially given the substantial 30-year age gap between them. That's a terrible idea. We talked about this. Long time ago, but it's like, I think that's enough, right? Mike being fucking carted off, having the yeah. emergency land the plane, like. Yeah. Hey, didn't, didn't like Jake Paul failed a lie detector test? He did. About Mike Tyson, yeah. What? I swear to God, he did like a lie. Well, you're test. making this up now. I swear to God, <laughs> Jake Paul did like a lie detector test <laughs> on if he's concerned about Mike Tyson, and he failed it. So he said he is concerned. Check it. Check your phone. Well, you should be. Hold on. You should be. I'm using my thing. Check your phone. Okay. Well, I'm regardless, the fight is set to proceed. If Tyson fails to appear once more, Jake Paul can rely on his brother, Logan Paul, to step in and face him. Logan Paul has expressed genuine interest in replacing Mike Tyson. Initially, when news broke that Tyson would not be participating, skepticism surrounded Jake Paul's claims. However, Logan Paul made his intentions clear during a recent interview with Donald Trump. Uh, when Tyson got sick and, and had to postpone his fight and, and we actually like ran it up the chain and up. The debate continues about whether the Tyson versus Jake Paul fight should proceed. Donald Trump expressed concern about Logan Paul potentially fighting his own brother, emphasizing their strong bond and mutual respect. Logan affirmed their decision, stating they would accept any outcome with understanding and love. Demetrius Johnson echoed sentiments against Mike Tyson fighting Jake Paul highlighting Tyson's age of 58 and the potential risks to his health. Johnson suggested Jake Paul should build his record by facing younger opponents rather than older legends like Tyson. He criticized the bout as unnecessary and risky, calling for Jake Paul to fight legitimate, skilled boxers instead. The Tyson vs. Paul matchup is slated to be streamed live on Netflix, potentially making it a significant event in boxing history. However, criticism persists over the age disparity and health concerns associated with Tyson. Many in the boxing and MMA communities question the wisdom of such a matchup, suggesting it's more spectacle than legitimate sporting event. Jake Paul remains steadfast in his commitment to fight Mike Tyson, despite the fight originally scheduled for July 20th being rescheduled to November 15th. Rumors circulating online suggested that Paul's camp indicated he might instead face bare-knuckle boxer Mike Perry on the original July 20th date reserved for Tyson's fight. And that man is not 58 years old, he's a badass, he's a real fighter, he's a tough test. He's not a boxer necessarily, but he is a man from the bare knuckle world. And you know who I'm talking about, it's the platinum one himself. Platinum Mike Perry, a man that I have. After the announcement, Paul cryptically tweeted, I smell victory, which initially seemed to confirm the news. However, he later clarified his intentions and reaffirmed his commitment to the rescheduled plan of placing Tyson in their live streamed professional contest at AT&T Stadium to be broadcast on Netflix. Paul's promotional team at Most Valuable Promotions has not yet issued a statement regarding the rumored fight, but clarity is expected once they do. Former USC champion Michael Bisping expressed his respect for Jake Paul's decision to step into the ring with bare-knuckle fighter Mike Perry. Bisping acknowledged Paul's improvement over his four-year boxing career, noting his physical strength and dedication. However, despite Paul's progress, Bisping believes that facing Perry is a significant mistake for the YouTuber-turned-boxer. 
He emphasized Perry's skills and star power, cautioning that Paul might underestimate him. Social media has also seen sensational claims, with some suggesting without evidence that the bout might be fixed. Boxing figure Supro Turkey Alec jokingly commented on Mike Tyson's return to the ring, teasing Tyson to forget the script and defeat Paul, despite the fight being postponed to November 15th due to Tyson's medical condition. Tyson remains confident about knocking out Jake Paul. In a video posted online, Tyson declared his intent to secure a knockout victory over Paul. Same fate, I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Former USC welterweight contender Dan Hardy expresses uncertainty about whether the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight will actually happen on the newly scheduled date. Hardy acknowledges Jake Paul's strategic thinking in choosing to fight Mike Tyson, but with five months until November 15, he believes there's ample time for unforeseen events to prevent the fight. I'll be honest, I'll be surprised if it actually happens. I think there's a lot of days between now and then for something to happen and the fight to not take place," Hardy commented. Regarding the potential outcome if the fight does proceed, Hardy acknowledges Jake Paul's youth and physical prowess but emphasizes that underestimating Mike Tyson would be a mistake. I would never, never ever count Mike Tyson out. He's got that fire in his eyes, you can still see it. And he still moves very, very well," Hardy said wrestling legend Hulk Hogan commented on Tyson's readiness for the fight, noting Tyson's intense focus and agility in training. Tyson has that eye of the tiger. When he gets focused, he will seek and destroy," Hogan stated. He also expressed hope that Jake Paul is prepared for the challenge Tyson presents. Hogan, who is friends with both Tyson and Paul, commended Paul for taking boxing seriously and making an impact in the sport. Meanwhile, professional boxer Anthony Joshua weighed in on the fight during an appearance on The Jonathan Ross Show. Joshua pointed out the significant age difference between the two fighters and emphasized Jake Paul's youth as a crucial advantage. The only thing I'm worried about is father time. That's one thing that's never been beat. And Tyson, he's older now, Joshua remarked. Despite this concern, Joshua acknowledged the appeal of YouTubers entering professional boxing seeing it as a positive for attracting new audiences to the sport. I personally think it's really good. I think that the boxing hardcores, like boxing fanatics, they don't like it because it's like, why are they disrespecting our sport? Joshua explained, he highlighted how YouTubers like Jake Paul can bring more attention to boxing and potentially inspire younger viewers to take up the sport. Crowd in half and you've got half of the people that are hardcore boxing fans and half of the people that love um, a certain person that's into YouTube. Like a YouTuber, yeah. But that person brings all of these people into boxing, which benefits everyone else that's involved. Some in of them the might stay not just for that match. Yeah. UFC heavyweight Curtis Blades expressed strong disapproval of the fight, going as far as to say he wouldn't watch it if it took place on July 20th. When asked about his thoughts on the fight and if he intended to tune in, Blades dismissed it as a joke fight and stated he had no interest in watching it. I think it's a joke fight. Um, you could tell just by how they've been interacting with the uh, Ace Off and the, uh, the press conference. That's not the, the Mike Tyson who's coming to rip your head off. That's, that ain't Iron Mike. Conor McGregor expressed uncertainty about the upcoming fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, describing it as unusual during an interview for his film Roadhouse. When asked for his opinion on the bout, McGregor replied candidly, Jesus, I don't know, it's a strange one for me. I wish Mike well. McGregor also criticized Jake Paul, suggesting that his influence sets a poor example for aspiring young boxers. He emphasized the importance of aspiring to world titles and Olympic success to leave a lasting legacy in the sport, rather than engaging in what he described as smash and grab fights for social media likes. Mike Tyson remains undeterred by his age and medical condition expressing interest not only in defeating Jake Paul but also in potentially facing Anthony Joshua for a charity event. Tyson reassured his fans about his physical condition, stating that he's in better shape now than he's been since the 1990s and will resume full training soon. He confidently predicted a knockout victory over Jake Paul, asserting that Paul's recent delay due to Tyson's medical situation won't change the eventual outcome of the fight. UFC President Dana White shares McGregor's skepticism about the fight, 
White expressed his admiration for Mike Tyson, but criticized the matchup, stating, Nobody wants to see Mike get beat by this eh? Asterisk Asterisk King Jerkoff. White questioned the fairness of pitting a nearly 60-year-old Tyson against a 27-year-old like Jake Paul, especially after Paul avoided a rematch with Tommy Fury. He mocked Paul's choices in opponents and suggested that Paul is hesitant to face fighters of his own age and caliber. What, what, what the Jake Paul thing is and how this plays out is when he actually fought somebody who was a boxer, who had the same type of record he has, who is his age, Tommy, and who is his size, he fucking lost. Yeah. <laughs> So they're never going to go that fucking route again, right? Close fight. And, 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 yeah, and they're trying yeah. to pull this whole narrative like when people, I saw some guy the other day say, when are you going to stop fighting gimmick fights? You're going to call Mike Tyson a gimmick? Well, yeah, I, it is a gimmick I fight, mean, but I, I found him, fuck, I would yeah. never. Some professionals in the industry hold strong reservations about Mike Tyson's decision to fight at his current age, citing potential serious medical concerns. Sports Illustrated reporter Chris Mannix expressed his concerns during an interview on The Rich Eisen Show, pointing out Tyson's age and recent health issues. Mannix emphasized that even minor health issues can be significant for someone approaching 58 years old, especially when preparing for a professional boxing match. Former British professional boxer Tony Jeffries echoed similar sentiments, expressing disappointment in Tyson's choice to fight. Jeffrey suggested that Tyson's decision may have been influenced by financial incentives rather than personal readiness or sporting ambition. He remarked on social media discussions questioning Tyson's motives, noting that financial gain appeared to be the primary driver behind Tyson's return to the ring at age 57. Stephen A. Smith was also critical of Tyson's comeback when the fight was initially announced, expressing sadness and disgust over the situation. Smith acknowledged Tyson's legendary status in boxing history, but emphasized his belief that Tyson, at 57 years old, should be enjoying retirement rather than risking his health in a professional bout.